Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'll be showing you how to do a COVID-19 lateral flow antigen test. So to do this test, you'll need hand gel, a mirror, the actual test kit itself, and some towels. Before we start, ensure that you have a clean and disinfected surface. So the first thing we need to do is to sanitize our hands. This kit contains seven tests, however, you only need to use one at a time. Each kit contains seven of these. The extraction tube holder, the extraction tube itself, the buffer solution sachet, the test strip, which is sealed, a sealed swab, a guide to show you how to take the test, and a waste plastic bag. Before you start, you should always read the guide first. So let's start. The first thing we need to do is to put the extraction tube in the extraction tube holder to make sure that it doesn't fall down. So the next thing we need to do is open the buffer solution and you can do that by twisting the top end like this. And now we need to pour that into the extraction tube. The next thing we need to do is to open the sealed test strip. Be warned that once you open this, you only have 30 minutes in order to put the buffer solution on the test strip. So you should be very quick. So this is the test strip itself. This is where you pour the solution in. This is where you look for the results. And this is the barcode you need to use when submitting your results. So now you need to blow your nose using a tissue. Then you need to sanitize your hands again. Now you need to get your mirror and your seal, sealed swab. Open it using this little tab here. Ensure that you hold the swab from the plastic end of the stick only. The fabric end shouldn't touch anything apart from your tonsils and your nostrils. So you need to rub it on your tonsils four times on either side and in each nostril around 10 times. So you need to make sure it doesn't touch any part of your mouth, such as the gums or the tongue. And it will feel unpleasant. However, it only takes a very short period of time. So you need to put the swab in the buffer solution, bend it and then twist it so that all the fluids from your mouth transfer into the solution. And you need to keep on twisting the extraction tube as you do this. So, and when you're lifting it out, Pat it on the sides to ensure that all the fluid remains in the tube. Now you can put the swab in the waste plastic bag. Now you can close the extraction tube and shake it lightly. You should aim for three drops in the dimple that says S and make sure that there are no bubbles. Now, as you can see, the fluid has started to rise up. You should put on a timer for 30 minutes after which you can find out your results. So 30 minutes has passed by. And as you can see, this is my result. C stands for control. So everyone should get a line on C, as you can see there. And T is for the test result. If you get a line on just C, then you're negative. If you get a line on C and T, then you're positive. Anything else is a void result. Once you have your results, then you should go to the gov.uk website in order to report your result. So once your test is completed, you should get your waste plastic bag and put this all in there so that you can safely put it in the bin. So I hope this video was very informative for you. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.